to put on my stair rods. So I've just fitted the carpet, the lights are all done and ready, so it's the last thing to do. So the stair rods are ripped with a little. So the stair rods I bought were a bit of a bargain. They were $7.95. I will link them below. They come like this with really long poles. Then you get these small pieces here, which you have to put together. So you get the little knobbly bit, a screw, and then this piece. So I recommend using this little screwdriver. So you can sort of wiggle it in and then you tighten that up. So you've got loads of those. And you get, there we go, some screws. So what I'm gonna do, I want them to all be the same length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out of the bag. Okay, like that. So I've got 12 rods. So what I'll need is a tape measure and some tape. So what I'm gonna do with the rods is I'm actually going to get them all nicely lined up in a clump and I'm actually gonna tape them together. So the way to do that is stand them upright on the ground so you know the level, get your masking tape, like so. So there are rods all together. So now what I'm going to do on the stairs, so the stair rods that are going to go on here, these are the bits that are basically going to sit there and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to probably just put them ever so slightly, not touching it, just slightly out. I've had a look at lots of pictures online and I'd say they kind of sit just a couple of mils either side. Um, but I'm going to probably do it a centimetre, like that. So it'll be a centimetre out. So what you need to do is get your tape measure. And then I'm going to work out the size. So my carpet is 55 centimetres wide. So basically the stair rods, rods I'm going to make 57. So they'll stick out slightly. So... If you really want to, obviously, you can make them, you want to stick them out a little bit more, you can do, but I think I'm going to do, I think I kind of want them there. So I think I'm going to do them, let's do them 58, so it sticks out a little bit more. So that would be like that. Yeah, let's do 58. Right, so I'm going to cut them to 58. So cutting-wise, what I'm going to use, if I can find it, I'm going to use this little hacksaw that I bought. So I'm going to measure 58 centimetres here. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of tape to mark it. It's not a little bit of felt pen, I suppose, but I haven't got one. So I'm going to mark it. So what I've done, so I've measured 58 centimetres and I've popped a little bit of tape here. So that is my cutting line. I could use a felt pen, obviously. Um, but I'm going to cut down like that. Okay, so I'm now going to put the stair rods on. Cut them all so they're all cut to the same length. I actually had to buy a new saw because the one I had just wasn't cutting it. It needs to be a much, much bigger one with a blade uh, like this. It will actually cut through metal to so just make sure that it will cut through metal because the one I had, it wasn't tight enough and I couldn't make it tight enough. So this is the one, I'll link this one that I bought to do it. And then it was quite easy. Once you secure it in place, you can cut them all. So I've already done this one, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you how I attach. So what you need to do you can probably hear the cat in the background. She's got a mouse in her mouth. At least I think it's a mouse. The head's not there. I'm not letting her in. So I'm not interested. 
she's meowing in the background so you can hear her okay a rod here and I have made sure they're all the same size now these are the little stair bits just like that so you've got to do one side first that's what I'm going to do one side first attached to the wall then slide the pole in and then with the pole attached you then have to screw that so I'm going to do that now and I'll show you I've had a few attached Okay, I've got a few in and definitely having the right drill bit helps, which I made sure I did get the right drill bit. So we've got a few in there, so it's looking good. So now I'm gonna keep going. I find it easier to actually get the top one in first, just secure it in with the pole right in, then secure that one down. And then across the other side, you have to sort of a bit fiddly, slide it on the end, then screw it in, but that works quite well. So I'm gonna, Keep going up the steps, and I'll show you when I get to the top. So I'll, just, I'll show you halfway up. So what I'm doing is I push it all together, use the fluff, like that. And because the carpet's obviously natural, it will, it's not 100% the same width. So I'm laying them out like this, push the pole in, and then what I do is screw this top one in first, then the bottom, then that's securely in. Then come down here, which is a little bit more fiddly. You might want someone to help push that down. And again, push that right down. And it will bend a little bit, but it is a carpet rod. So it holds the carpet nice and taut like that. So I'm gonna carry on. I've only got one, two, three, five to go. Okay, all done. I'm not actually securing the bottom one because I've got some trim to go and neaten all this bottom bit up first. So there will be one on there, but I've not fitted it. So there we go. Really happy with that. Looks good. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, next up, I'm going to be finishing off the, I did, I've replaced all of these, uh, the balustrades and the whole piece and all the top. So I'm going to be finishing that as a separate video. Uh, I've got my panelling and also I'm finishing off a IKEA Pax Hacks, so please do hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I will link everything below that I've used, including my bargain carpet. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.